Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally doing my Christmas home tour. It is just like our downstairs area because I don't decorate our whole entire house. We don't do our bedroom and stuff like that. Like I feel like that's just so super time consuming and I just, no, we don't have extra room for extra sheets and extra colors of blankets and all kinds of stuff like that. So it is just like our living room, like our bathroom, kitchen, dining room, that kind of stuff. I'm also gonna show you like our outdoors when it comes nighttime. My husband put up a ton of Christmas lights and also super excited to be doing this video because I'm gonna be doing a collab with my girl Megan from Glue Guns and Roses. So make sure that you go and check her video out. She is also going to be doing a Christmas home tour. She does a ton of DIYs as well. So make sure you go and check her out. I absolutely love her. I feel like that her and I were like separated at birth. Absolutely love her. I love her channel. And anyways, we're just gonna jump right into my Christmas tour. I did room by room. And while I was doing room by room, the other room was like super trash like I don't know how I did it all in one day but I actually did and you see this like ghost rocking the chair over here it's not a ghost but, all right I'm going to just show you my 2018 Christmas home tour so this year I went pretty simple with my home decor I don't have a ton but I love the simplicity of everything I'm starting off in the kitchen this is our back door and this is a wreath that I made in a DIY video I will leave that link in the description box below and this Tis a Season rug came from Walmart. And then I just got this little Joy towel with a deer on it, which came from Dollar General. I think that is so cute. And then on the corner, we have this Noel Farms sign. That came from, I think, Tractor Supply. And then a little tree I made. And then that little bear has hot chocolate in it. This is like our hot chocolate bar because we don't have enough room. And so that is just what we use. And then right here, I just have a sign and a salt and pepper shaker from Dollar General and a little tree that I made along with this like cinnamon spiced vanilla candle that was a couple years old from Bath and Body Works. And then on my window, I just have a few little things I got from Meyer or Scarlet made. And then I have this Santa that I got from Kohl's a few years ago. This is one of my favorite Christmas decor items. I think he is so cute and I love the little cupcakes and the gingerbread. And then on this side is just a little present that I made along with Have Yourself a Merry Christmas Plate from a Dollar Tree. And then all of this I made, which I absolutely love this except the little like birch trees or the little bottle brush trees. But this is like one of my favorite, favorite things in our whole entire house to decorate with this year is this tray on top of our refrigerator. And then another thing I made, you'll see a pattern going because mostly everything for Christmas decor I made because we didn't have a whole lot. But so here's a few wreaths that I made and this one is just going into the bathroom. It's very simple decor in here, just things that my grandma gave me. And then we are going to be moving on into the dining room. This, so many things that I made. I love rustic decor. I made the little snowmen and then the trees behind there and the sign next to it that says it's the most wonderful time of the year. That came from Meyer. So if you're on the East Coast and you have a Meyer, there's only a few states that have it, but I absolutely love their decor. And then this is a little birch centerpiece type thing that I made with Dollar Tree items and birch trees. And then this is one of my most favorite things I made this year. I was so happy with the way this turned out. And I, like I said, I will leave all those links in the description box so you can check out a lot of the home decor I made because I did decorate almost like 80% of everything in our house is something that I made this year. And then this is a little shelf in our dining room. So I just put a bunch of little items on there that I made or I had from my grandma. The little lantern is from Walmart this year. And then those little birch candles came from Menards quite a few years ago. And then that is just a little tree I made. And then those little ceramic houses are from the Target dollar spot. And then now this is another shelf in my dining room. The welcome to the, our neck of the wood sign is from Tractor Supply. I love that place. This little train set came from my grandma, and then this is just something that I made. And then this dining room table, we just have a few items on here. The home for Christmas sign and the lantern came from Dollar General. The candle came from Michael's, and then the little cloche, I made that along with a little twine vase right there. Ooh, da -da -da -da. Oh, oh, da -da -da -da. Making a Christmas 
And then this little tree lights up, but you couldn't tell very well. That came from Meyer a few years ago. And then this is my favorite, favorite thing in the whole wide world to decorate for any holiday. I got it in the spring this year, this three-tier tray. This was so much fun to decorate for my first year of Christmas having it. And then my little birch log crock. I am obsessed with this. This is probably my second favorite thing. And then I also have this little centerpiece type item I made as well. And then moving on into the living room. So much These little signs came from Meyer, and then this little Mickey plays music. And then this is all on our TV stand, and this is a little advent calendar. My mom purchased this for Scarlett for her very first Christmas from Avon. And then next to our tree is sitting Frosty the Snowman. I love him. I think he is so adorable. And then I did get one of these little collars for our Christmas tree this year. That was from Target. It's the Hearth and Home. I think that's what it's called. And then it is that. And I will leave that link if I can find that as well. And then I really tried doing burlap ribbon this year on our Christmas tree. I have moved to this Christmas tree so many times and then the girls run around the Christmas tree so it always just falls off so it's not perfect but neither is our tree but I love all of our homemade ornaments on here. I really love the looks of everybody's Christmas trees and how they look something out of a magazine. Ours definitely will not. All of our ornaments mean so much to me. Our kids have made so many of these ornaments through the years or picked them out and I wouldn't have the Christmas tree any other way and I just I absolutely love how our Christmas tree is. We also made a bunch of new ornaments this year and I will have that video up as soon as I can. I'm hoping this Friday it will be up so hopefully this is going to be up on Wednesday and then that video will be up on Friday. The girls put so much work into these ornaments and they turned out so cute. Around, keeping people please but this is my favorite holiday it's we also purchased a brand new Christmas tree this year because I really loved the flocked look this year and I actually found one on a really good deal it was like 70% off at Kohl's so I snatched it right up chance to start over new cuz I missed you so I'm letting go of it. And then on the other side of the living room is where our staircase is. And then I just hang our stockings up here. They are personalized. I had these made as the year Presley was born, so in 2016. And I got these off of the Walmart Photoshop. They are so cute. And then down here, I just have a couple pillows. I love this area of my house. This is like one of my favorite parts. And then I just have some berries and stuff those are from the Dollar Tree and I think Michael's as well and then just a couple little scrap wood pieces that I DIY'd and then I also have a ton of little decorations we've had forever the little cat set means so much to me it was my grandma's and I just remember playing with it as a kid and then these are a couple signs that I made along with a little plate Scarlet made oh my gosh almost four years ago that's one of my favorite favorite items she made that in school and then we just have some pillows on our love seat along with some on our rocking chair. But that is it for my video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And make sure you go and check out Megan's video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill.